So I was just about to go to bed and then I was kind of thinking about it. So my wife's out of town and she left me dinner on a crock pot cooking for when I got home from work before she left. And so I want to do something nice for her while she's gone. So I got my Bass City Design shirt on and I'm ready to get to work. So what I'll be doing today or over the next two days while my wife is out of town is installing some recessed lights in our kitchen here. Kitchen is, the house is a little dirty. I'm at home by myself with the kiddo, so it's gonna get that way. But as you can see, the light just kind of flickers. I took the casing off, it's going out, and fluorescent lights just aren't in. It's actually a really nice house. We're looking to sell it pretty soon and get top dollar for it. So what do people love? Recessed lights. So I'm gonna take this out. I'm gonna install, I don't know, four or five lights in here. I need to get the layout design going. So it is 8.55 right now on November 5th. Tessa gets back on Thursday night, November 7th. Um, so that gives me two days. Baby's crying, so we also got that. So if this comes out good on camera, you'll be able to see here that I ordered this on November 5th. I got my Romex cable, my six lights, and a toilet drain blocker. And then I have six more IC cans here that I also ordered today, but these won't come in until um, Thursday. So that's gonna be kind of last minute. Hopefully I can get that in time. Otherwise, um, I do have two leftover cans that I'll be able to install in there and then just hopefully I'll be able to get home before she does on Thursday and pop in the rest pretty quickly. Alrighty, so it is now November 6th. It is the next day. Tessa comes home tomorrow. So I have today to finish up the texturing on the walls to make sure, or the ceiling to make sure it matches and to get the holes cut out and possibly a couple of lights installed. I ordered these yesterday and they're already here. So I got my Romex wire. So these are the lights themselves. The cans will take probably two days to come in. They'll be here tomorrow, hopefully. I have a couple of spares from an old project that I hope to use for these um, right now. And then I may have a couple of unfinished holes that I'll have to rush home and do before Tessa comes through the door. So here's what they look like. I got a six pack of these. These are the ones I always get, 2700K soft white. Um, it still has a yellowish tint, so it still looks a little bit natural. It doesn't look like a hospital if you were to get actual white.
Did y'all see that? Look, I pushed this underneath the insulation and got it to come out of the hole without having to go in the attic, without having to push a stick through there. That's freaking awesome. The baby's sleeping, so I'm trying to be a little quiet. That is a good win, the first wiring. That's so awesome. I think this is gonna be my last hole there. This is my third hole. Obviously this is my first hole because it's where the main power is already coming from. So I think I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, and then five. Let's give it a shot. So I did end up having to go into the attic for one of these. And just a quick tip, because going into the attic just sucks. So what you should do is start in the farthest end and push the cables closest to the most accessible part of your attic, which in my case is the middle of the house, like most people where your pitch is a little bit higher so there's some walking room or even crawling room. So from that whole way over there, I push the cable from underneath from here all the way over here in this area as far as I could. So when I go into the attic, I can just walk over here, grab the cable and slip it down this hole, which this hole is much easier to get than this one over here. Same with this one. It's really hard to get. The pitch gets really narrow right there. There's no way I can reach that. But if I push the cable from here and push it somewhere over here as far as I can, it's going to be a lot easier to grab it. Okay, so I only have two of these light cans right now until the rest come in tomorrow, but I'm going to go ahead and prep it and try to hook up at least two lights for now. What I'm going to do is pop off these two knockout punches here, knockout holes, and plug them with some plastic connectors. This insulation stuff that it comes with. What's up everybody? It is now 12.42 at night. Graham is going to wake up around four o'clock. So that gives me three hours of sleep tonight. Uh, so it's gonna be kind of a rough day at work tomorrow. But I got most of what I wanted to get done today. I don't have any more light cans anyway, so I can't really proceed with that part, but I did want to finish painting the ceiling, which I didn't get around to. Otherwise, I'm pretty excited. Um, let's see what the finished product looks like once I get it done. So Tessa ended up beating me home today and kind of spoiled the surprise, but that's okay. The light cans came in, so let's get to work.
All right, just to show you how this works a little bit. So you slip this through the hole in your ceiling and then these clips here, if you push this, you can see how that clip kind of falls out. And this is what grabs onto the sheet rock. So you have it grabbing on by just pushing these in here. And once you push hard enough, then it'll grab on. And then what you're gonna to wanna to do when it's already installed is go ahead and press up on these little tabs with a flathead screwdriver.